Good afternoon. It's Friday, December 2nd, 2011. I'm Jamie Chadwick with your Erner Berry Market Report, sponsored today by NAMP's new line of English Spanish Meat Cup posters, now larger and fully laminated. First up today is a look from Erner Berry's HRI Buyer's Guide, which is a weekly publication dedicated to current commodity prices being paid to wholesalers and purveyors by hotels, restaurants, and institutions. Here's Russ Barton with this week's price trends and movers for the food service industry. Our most impressive gains this week came from the chicken complex. As production levels continue to decline and bird weights drop, the amount of supply for chicken has followed suit. This has resulted in advanced price points for items like whole chickens, which move up about 10% this week. Moving over to beef, short ribs have been trading near record highs all year long with few periods of volatility. One of these was in mid-October when the market declined several percentage points. The move this week looks to be just a rebound to levels that the item has traded at for much of the year. Our last item in the green this week is from the veal market. The veal asabuco four shanks trended higher this week as seasonal demand started to increase. Offerings were reportedly moderate at best. Finally, rounding out the list is our only negative item which happens to come from the egg complex. Thanksgiving needs were slow to come to fruition this year as retail buyers waited until the last minute to fill their needs. Producers geared up production with the hope of a very strong holiday market, but were forced to send excess inventories to the breaker prior to Thanksgiving week. This situation created increased supplies of whole leg, which, sev which several were forced to discount due to last week's shortened schedule. Our ranges in this category are down 4.4% as a result and remain under some pressure. I'm Russ Barton with this week's Movers of the Week. Back to you, Jamie. Thanks, Russ. Now let's check out the markets. In the egg market, movement at the retail level is good. Supplies of extra large and large are well balanced and at times close. Jumbos are an improving balance but remain fully adequate for current needs. Market is steady while dried whole egg and yolk are under pressure and trending lower. Looking at poultry in the chicken market, the complex is closing at a very lackluster week of business with all minds focused on expectations moving forward. Supply side constraints continue to hold product in a very manageable state during the sluggish time of the year. Wings remain the most limited item on the sheet, but even these are feeling the influence of an overall lack of interest. Wogs and whole birds are still well supported. Dark meat is in good shape at most points of sale. Thigh meat has taken on a better call with the emergence of the shopping season. Tenders and boneless are adequate at most and are offered at steady levels relative to our current quotations. Trim meat is rated full steady. Talking turkey business patterns within the industry are not exactly revealing. There is still a considerable amount of weaving and bobbing among buyers and sellers. Whole body turkeys are steady at best and we're still finding a variety of asked prices and availability. In the meantime, the parts complex is mixed with drums attempting to settle but not still seeming to be there. Wings have traded much lower for export in an isolated manner, while most sellers have few, if any, to offer and attempt to tow the line. Thigh meat commands no less than full market values. Moving over to red meats in the box beef market, live cattle markets have yet to trade this week. Bids and offers have been extremely far apart thus far, delaying trade until late stage of the week. Yes. Markets remain mixed, and cuts were offered at lower levels throughout the week as packers fill orders on holiday items and are left with unsold supplies of rounds and checks. The discounts have been offered mostly for spot as packers are reluctant to take lower prices in areas that they say will need to help support the cutout in coming weeks. In the boneless beef market, fresh 50s are still rated steady to weaker. Supplies are reportedly still available. Undertones for the fresh 90s range from steady to firmer, and demand is reportedly still active. In the imported beef markets, the light volume that occurred throughout most of the week appears poised to continue again today. Few offerings have been seen thus far, and meat with package dates older than six months continues to surface and trade at a discount as a result. Looking at pork, direct markets are expected mostly steady to possibly weaker as most plants are sufficiently supplied with hogs for Saturday and early next week schedules. Bellies are expected steady and trimmings are called steady to firm as availability thins. Loins, butts and spare ribs are all still offered and for many points of sale. Still quantities and product mix varies. 
This week's patterns of small rather than larger orders has resulted in sellers with meat on hand at this late stage and undertones are mixed. That wraps up Erner Berry's Market Report, brought to you today by Nance's new line of English Spanish meat cup posters, featuring nine new designs of crisp, clear color images of pork, veal, lamb, and beef cuts, now in a larger and fully laminated display. Contact Erner Berry today to order your set by visiting us online at shop.nance.com or by giving us a call at 800-932-0617.